Hi guys, in today's gear review, I want to give you an in-depth update on my Mark 7 Apex 10 reloading machine. I bought the Apex 10 in uh, February of 2021, so a little more than a year ago, and I've made approximately uh, 10,000 rounds of 9mm Major through it. That's the only caliber I use uh, both on my Apex 10 as well as uh, my Super uh, 1050. I do have to say from the start it was not an easy journey, uh, I refer to uh, other YouTube videos I made and as well as community posts. I used a Lehman 9mm Pro dice, I've added a double Alpha Academy uh, magnetic uh, powder check which works very well to make sure that you don't have too little or too much powder in the cases. I've also added a Mr. Bullet feeder which is dialed in and uh, does not cause any concerns whatsoever and I've also installed a um, CED light so that all the different stations are illuminated and I have a very good view on what's going on with the press. In March 2022, I decided to upgrade the Mark 7 Apex 10 with the uh, auto drive for the Apex 10 so that I can push out more rounds in a more consistent manner, um, overseeing everything that's going on instead of doing everything manually. I've currently set the speed at 1000 rounds per hour, which is uh, more than enough. I already tested the uh, Mark 7 in a higher round count, but I don't see a big benefit um, compared to the number of rounds I actually shoot uh, per month, uh, per quarter and per year. So with 1000 rounds per hour, everything is uh, working smoothly. Um, you can still see what's going on and you can still intervene if there's an issue, for example, if um, a bullet whilst the press is turning actually tilts, uh, you can actually stop the machine to uh, set the bullet straight onto the case so that the, the machine can continue uh, its operation. And if the round count is higher, that becomes a little more difficult. So with the uh, number of rounds I shoot per month, per quarter and per year, that's uh, certainly feasible. I'll quickly show you how the press works. Voila, you can adjust everything with the control panel. Um, I adjusted the time that the tool head uh, stays down and up just to make sure that you have, that the press has enough time to set everything and that everything is uh, consistent. From the start, I had issues with the Apex 10 standard uh, priming system. Now uh, I installed the Primer Express, but originally there's the tube that feeds that disc and the disc actually turns around. I had one in 20 to one in 30 crushed or stuck primers, which is a pain in the butt and you constantly have to fumble with the disc uh, to get the primers out and also remove the, the plastic and the disc itself. To, um, to have it work correctly. I actually reached out to Double Alpha, who then contacted Mark 7, who stated that there was an issue with the primer disc. They actually sent me a, a new one free of charge, and I do have to say it helped a little bit, but I still had the same issues, but instead of having them at 120, 130, I had them approximately 150, 1200, still the same issue, and that's not how this press should uh, operate. So I've actually invested uh, soon thereafter, I, would, I think it was April or May 2021, I uh, bought the Primer Express and to my surprise, since then, the system actually operates uh, consistently and well with uh, rarely to no uh, issues. If I have an issue, it's one every six, seven hundred rounds where there's an issue with the disc not turning. Um, oftentimes the, um, the primer is actually flipped so that it's stuck and the disc doesn't turn around anymore, but uh, much better than uh, with the initial system. But I hear, uh, especially through the Facebook uh, Mark 7 uh, load, Reloaders group, that a lot of Apex 10 owners have uh, issues with the priming system, which is a pity for um, a, a machine and especially a machine for that price. Last week the Primer Express uh, actually broke down and when I checked what was going on the small electric 
um, motor does not shake the plate anymore so apparently there's an issue and i'm gonna reach out to double alpha to see if this falls under warranty and if they can replace that but the overall operation of the uh, the primer express i'm very pleased uh, with it you do have to tweak with it to find the uh, correct speed and make sure that the sensors are correct so that the system uh, works automatically but uh, if the primer express works correctly that's not an issue and that facilitates and improves uh, feeding uh, primers in a consistent manner without uh, causing any issue. Besides the uh, the priming uh, system, some other issues I uh, had with the press is I'm already at my third spring which goes around the shell plate to retain the cases. So from time to time the uh, case feeder does not inject the case correctly and it's crooked and when it goes to the next uh, station to the prime um, it's actually crooked and it if the press goes down initially it damages the spring so um, this is already my third spring that i've uh, had to exchange it's pretty straightforward to do it so that's not a big issue another thing i had is the two springs that keep the um, the case in the case feeding system here actually came loose and fell into the machine so i had to get them out um, the boat screws of the uh, powder measure here um, come loose on a regular basis so i check them actually uh, after every usage i just see if they're still snug pex 10 also has uh, some issues with powder spillage at the powder station but uh, especially at the powder check station here um, i still have the uh, double alpha uh, powder check with the plastic knob uh, below I've read that they've upgraded to a brass one which would uh, decrease powder spillage uh, even further. Another uh, issue I have on a regular basis is that the shell plate doesn't index uh, correctly and you can see that because when it goes down and the pins go down it still changes oh ever so slightly nomark 7 recommends to adjust a small screw that is in the, the side rear upper part of the press which i've already done multiple times but um, i would say almost every time the shell plate index is uh, out of sync and this is the best i actually get it and i'm not gonna tweak uh, too much on that uh, indexing screw anymore because the, the press works correctly as you can uh, as you can see i've also had some dies coming loose i actually clean and uh, loop the press after every usage so that it's in the mint condition an important point of attention is that uh, especially with the automated presses uh, i strongly recommend to stay with the press so it's not as straightforward as just dumping all the different components into it and then um, tapping run and letting the machine operate unsupervised because something can always go wrong and um, I, I strongly advise that uh, somebody is actually with the press whilst it's in operation. Small recommendation to Mark 7, please uh, make and push out some more videos dealing with the primer issue, uh, it setting the index plate with the screw, doing maintenance and so forth and so forth specifically on the Apex 10 and I want to do a shout out to the Mark 7 uh, reloading group on uh, Facebook where you can find uh, a lot of very interesting uh, tips, uh, tricks, techniques and also if you run into any type of problem um, put it on there and the community will certainly try to help you and give you recommendations on how to fix it. It does take some time to get to know and to tweak the Apex 10 uh, so that it works uh, consistently. Certainly in the beginning uh, there's a lot of uh, headaches and things you have to get to know and learn and tweak. But now I'm very pleased with the operation of the uh, Apex 10 and as stated this is my primary reloading press.